What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another farming simulator video and in today's video We are back here on Estancia La Pacha the South America map uh, Not sure if this is in like Brazil or something like that. Not not quite sure, but Today we're gonna be continuing where we left off in our last video um, Last video we started to do some of our harvesting over here. We accidentally planted wheat instead of uh, soybeans or beans which was like a huge issue. I was not anticipating that because we really needed the money right away. So I'm kind of, uh, let me see if I can show you here. All right, yeah, right here. So we got fresh wheat, kind of grown because I had it on 120 times. Then it's just about, just about grown right here. And then right there where that cuts off, we started planting soybeans. So we're going to have a little weird, uh, a little weird harvest coming up here in a bit where we'll be split but looks like he only has about or she or whoever's in that tractor they only has about three more rows to go then they're good but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pick up a ninja uh so it's a stara rebroke ninja 330. all right so yeah so we got the stara rebroke ninja 33,000 6600 dollars or uh yes 6600 Part of the platinum expansion so we're gonna be picking up this guy and uh we're gonna be using that one to shuffle all of our wheat um off of the uh the fields Ugh, i'm just like at a loss for words right now uh we'll go standard okay there we go oh and guys i'm sorry if you hear in the background if you might, might be able to hear my dog going around because he's just going crazy right now i'll uh try and edit that out but i probably won't be able to edit all of him out all right so let's pick up do we have any other platinum expansions so we have this one but that's all we really got and it's really kind of crappy but i think what we want to do is we wanted to get the case ih but it's four hundred twenty thousand dollars. so okay yeah that's not that bad actually compared to everything else it's uh it's pretty good twelve thousand oh Oh, this one's just a little bit, compared to like the, the Massey, it's just a little bit off there. Um, we'll pick up this one right now. Uh, just for now, we'll lease this one. Lease it for $22,000. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, $14,000 an hour. Oh, whoo. That is expensive. Okay. Well, we can't afford to buy it, so we gotta lease it. Um... Let's see if we can tap into it. There we go. Okay, this is pretty dang big though. Oh, and we need to buy a header for it. Ah, I can't forget that. Um, we'll scroll all the way down our line here. Find ourselves a case. Ooh, or Capello. Um, let's go with the case. 32, 35 footer. Ooh. I don't want to mix up everything. I want to have everything be in case if we're going to buy case. Yeah, because I can use... Yeah. Oh, it's platinum. That's a platinum expansion. That's the one that we have on right now on our Bison. But it's not that great. Let's go with this one right here. All right, we'll buy this one. Cha-ching. Okay. There we go. So we got everything we need now. Please tell me this thing has a hitch on it. This thing definitely has to have a hitch on it. If it doesn't, and I'm gonna have to drive over here separately, I'm gonna be angry. Okay, yeah, this is gonna plow through our fields and not plow. This is gonna harvest our fields in like a quarter of the time, actually. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, uh, it doesn't have a rear hitch on it. Okay. And let's not take this through the main roads because we're going to end up hitting somebody. All right, so we'll have to drive our uh, uh, F-150 over here and grab that in a minute. That's fine. Whew. All right. Now we start our slow trek back. I probably should have just... I don't even think... I, can you set this down? Can you fold it? Let me see. I wonder if you could even fold this one and give it wheels and everything. I feel like you should be able to, because most of them, most of the, this like the stock in-game ones that are modded have that with them, but I'm not sure. But the main reason, if you guys don't know, that I got this new case was because I needed a bigger one that could do more, and uh, I have to, I'd have to empty it less. And then the other reason was because um, 
our uh, our tipper we got is way 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 too big for the one that we have up there um, our bison because it literally it's like the tipper is like I think it's like three or four feet higher than our bison which is really weird okay this guy these aren't my crops are they no they're not yeah we need to buy field three here soon though because this guy's these are all just little dead things I think these are dead let's check it really quick Oh, it's barley. Oh, oh, so I'm driving through a barley field right now. Oh, no, that's not good. All right, I'll, I'll help that guy out sometime soon. I'll do a little extra work for him. Oh, don't back up. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, I am going to be using Case IH and Star when possible. Uh, like the Reboke, Reboke Ninja I got back there for that auger wagon. I'll be using that one. Oh, where should I start? Where should I start? Okay, yeah, now that I think about this, I should actually probably combine these two fields into one solid field because it'll be way quicker because I won't have to be taking these guys off. And I could probably also extend this field out that way. I probably have to do a little chopping down of those trees. Um, but I think we could do it. All right, so line this guy up right here. So this guy will be going here. And then the top in our truck. There's our F450. And then we're going to go all the way back down there where we just came from. We're going to go grab the Revoke. Uh, I know I'm just going to call it the Ninja because I'm just, it's too much. We're just going to go, we're going to go grab the Ninja. Oh, we're going to hit a quick jump here. Hey! Oh, oh, I'm driving right through his barley again. All right, so we're going to go grab the Ninja. We'll come back. We'll empty our Bison. Then we'll take the Bison and we'll sell it um, because we have no need for it anymore. Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't need it at all, actually. So we'll take that. We'll sell it. And then when we come back, we should be, we should think we should, should be ready to go. So let's just snag this. I think it's weird how this F450 actually has like a backup sounds to it. All right, we're gonna take this back to the field. We also need to grab the ground modification um, uh, roller and we need to go through this field really quick. We need to make, cause I don't think anybody really owns this. Or I haven't seen anything out here or any like fields or any anyone out here. So I think we might take this over and either turn it into a field or just uh, um, lay down like some asphalt or some gravel down on it because I really want to use that for uh, for an extra field. Oh, whoa, what the heck? That was weird. That top just came off of that. Just like, just went, whoof, just vanished right off. All right, so. We're here with this. Oh, you guys see that tipper right there? Oh, that thing's bugging out. That's weird. All right, now we're going to go grab our smaller tipper, our older one, the one we've had for quite a while. It's good for some small loads, uh, nothing too major. I think it'll only hold like 5,000. I'll snag this, and we'll go empty out the bison. Hopefully, we'll be able to empty it out completely. And then we'll get, every, we'll get all of our new equipment going, all the big boy stuff. And hopefully we'll finish this uh, this harvest out pretty quickly. Oh, I hate driving through this stuff. I hate it. Whew. Okay, so it's going. We just gotta wait for it. I'm gonna hop into it and see what's at. Oh yeah, this thing can only hold three thousand. Our tipper trailer can hold more than that. All right, and then once we get that guy going and we get the big one uh, uh, harvesting away, we'll go grab the loading wagon. I think I still have the loading wagon. I'm not sure if I leased it and then sold it or what I did with it. I might have to go buy another one because we're going to pick up all this straw and we're going to store it in our hayloft because we're going to save that for the cows and the sheep and everything else we got. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. Stop. Oh, gosh. Can't get, can't get good help these days. These workers are just trying to take off on you. All right, let's see what we can sell this guy for. Oh, that's not too great. Okay, sell it, sell it. There's a little extra extra cash we got now. Swing this guy out of the way. Excuse me, sir. Pop back in this, our is 7, 7130. Turn him on. Then we'll just hit hire a worker. I gotta unfold this guy first, actually. Oh, there we go. Here's where the real storage happens. And I want to make sure that this one will go all the way down and not spaz out when it sees um 
There we go. That's good. When it sees that half of it's not going to be able to be harvested. Oh, nope. He's good. All right. That is going to make our lives so much easier. You cannot even believe how much easier it's going to make them. All right. So we're going to have to move these guys in a second, actually, when we get back from dropping off this wheat. Because that guy is going to... He's going to make two passes, and he's going to be right there, and he's going to knock everything over. Okay, so we do still have our loading wagon, but it is full of grass. Huh. At least on this, this isn't seasoned, so we can just set grass out and not have to worry. But I'd rather not do that because it's kind of unrealistic. But it is always summertime here, so it's not too big of a deal. But I'm not quite sure. All right, there we go. Now let's whip it around. And we're going to go drop this little guy off. And then we're going to go grab... Uh, we're going to move the ninja and we're going to go grab the big tipper. I don't even know why I have this small guy. I think, I think I'll think i keep it and, and hold on to him just because we might need him for some newer or some smaller uh, style things later on. Alright, so the ninja is going to stay up here with with me. We're going to... Oh, what the heck? We're going to move him over here. Thank you. We're going to move him over here off to the left side of the field. He just finished his first pass. Move him right here, cause we'll need we'll use this to empty the uh, harvester when we can, so we can speed up everything we're doing. All right, and then we'll snag the tipper. That was weird. Yeah, it was like inside the ground. All righty, and then we'll set the tipper off over here to the side, so we can just pull up right next to it in the ninja. Yeah, we'll set it right here, and then once this guy gets over to the other side, we'll move it over um, to make it a little bit easier. But we need to grab a tractor to run these, because I'm tired of running the F450 uh, in the field, because it's kind of it's kind of dumb. Uh, do we have any tractors available right now? I'm not quite sure here. Let me park this guy, put him away. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, there we go. Can't forget to shut him off. Oh, uh, we can't get out. Whew, that was a close one. So I was like, I was looking at it and I was like, oh, is this gonna close? Okay, so we got our Massey, our small Massey over here. Those cows sound mad. Woohoo. See how they're doing, actually. 27% production. Cleanliness, 100%. So they need silage and hay, which is what we're working on right now. Um, then we need power food. Okay. Okay. That's not too bad. And this guy has... Okay, he now has three more rows to go. Like, yeah, this thing is super helpful. Um, this planter is, but it takes absolutely forever sometimes. It's such a small, such a small planter, but... Um, hey, those are different sizes. That's weird. I just realized that. I was looking at that. I was like, those are not even. All right. Check out what this guy's doing. Oh, whoa. What the heck is this guy doing over here? Did you see that? He's like curving in and cutting out. Here. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Helper G. Okay, Helper G. We're going to we're gonna take this over from you for a minute, all right? We're going to go all the way down here. Well, there we go. Got to push sure can't harvest their back into a little standard formation here. All right, we're going to empty this out while we can. And the sugar cane is just like everywhere now. So I think I'm going to start it over on that side where it's fully grown. And let's see, which one... Okay, so we need to pull up on that side. Hop in him. There we go. All right, Peter Bill, let's see you do it. Oh, I think I swung way too wide. All right, that's not that's not too big of a deal. I think I think we can do it. All right, come on. Oh uh, no 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 no. Uh, eh, uh, I guess that's good. <laughs> okay, let's call it a that. All right. 
Uh, which side is it? There we go. So let's see if it... No, that's not good. I was wrong. That is just going to dump out everywhere. All right, let's hop in first person. Maybe it'll be a little bit easier. Uh-oh. He is dumping just a little bit. Okay, is it all making it in there? I'm kind of panicking right now. This is like the worst machine ever to have to empty. Oh my gosh. All right. I yeah, I absolutely hate having to empty the sugar cane. Okay, let's just dump it all. Just go full send. Do we max that out? Do we max? There's no way we max them out. Holy crap, we max them out. Okay. And we can pick up that, what we got left over there in a little bit. Oh, man, that kind of sucks, actually. All right, let's take this back now. Uh, let's see where we can drop off sugar cane really quick. Probably the sugar mill. I'm going to be honest with you. Sugar cane. Sugar mill is where we want to go. All right, so the sugar mill is out this road to the right, left, and then a right, I think. All right, so we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go trucking really quick. All right, can't really see out the window. <laughs> I tried to peek left, and I was like, oh well, that see built in the way. All right, so we're gonna go take this down to the sugar mill, bring it back, um, get that guy going again. The sugar cane is a big pain in the butt for some reason. I have I don't have very good luck with it. Um, I don't know if it's just the fact of how hard it is to harvest and how messed up my crops are right now. Helper R. Oh, that's our that's our wheat harvester. I don't know if it's because of how messed up everything is right now. I think it's because of that. Um, and then I'm not sure if you guys have any suggestions on how I should uh, how I should empty the sugar cane. Leave them down below because, oh, I passed it. Oh, I passed it. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on how I should empty the sugar cane out of its uh, the sugar cane tipper, let me know because it's a pain in the butt. Um, and as you can see there, like it's just, it gets everywhere. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave comments down below and let me know how you guys do it. If you guys use smaller tippers, that's I, that's the only thing I was really thinking to do. Um, oh, it's over here. Okay, yeah. So I was thinking about using a smaller tipper, um, but then I wouldn't be able to hold nearly as much and I'd have to empty it even more, which might even make more work for myself than I want. Control I. Oh, what the heck? Oh, there we go. We just weren't we just weren't far enough back. I was like, what is happening here? All right, so forty-seven thousand sugar cane sells for brrr, drum roll, please. I think it keeps going and going and going. Like twenty-four thousand, eighteen thousand. Okay, so return on investment not too bad after a while. I'll say that. So I, okay, I was like, do we have to return that? We have to track that ourselves, but no, we don't. All right, excuse me. We're just gonna chuck right by you. All right, so that's not too bad. Sugarcane Mill is actually pretty close to our place. Let's turn right here. Oh, we need to get back to the back to the farm though. Our our helper, our our uh, new Case IH is already maxed out. All right, we're gonna have one more quick try at this, see if we can land it perfectly. The issue is, is the tractors turned to the left up here. And we got crap spilled all over the ground now. Mm. Let's back up and try that again. One more try at it. Last try, I promise, I promise. Okay, we're gonna literally have to scrape the side of our Peterbilt here. If we want to get as close as we can. Say, so, yeah, I think everybody. I hope everybody else has the same issues with this that I do, because I am not having a good time with this sometimes. All right. It looks like it's going in. All right, it is. What is happening with this guy? Um. No, don't lower it. Oh, don't lower it. That's not what I wanted. We need to fold it. 
I think maybe what we should do is just detach this guy when we do use it. All right, there you go. It's emptying slowly. We'll see if we can empty it slowly like that. All right, helper H is completed. Oh, sick, sick, sick. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is good. We needed this. We needed this uh, tractor here. All right, so we'll take this guy and we'll set it off to the side. Then we'll go grab our auger wagon real quick, empty our harvester. Usually you want to run the auger wagon right next to the harvester while it's still going so you don't lose any like time or profits or anything or any extra labor. But, you know, I guess it's just all us right now, so... I mean, and we got some helpers too. Don't get me wrong. All right, I've never used this auger wagon before, so I hope it's the regular, like how everything else is. For sure it is. All right, and back it up. Oh, the size of this auger wagon. We'll get this pipe out, getting get going. The size of this auger wagon compared to the size of the tractor pulling it is very unproportional. If you guys take a look at that. I don't even know if this thing technically has enough horsepower to pull it. I feel like you have to have a pretty big tractor to get this thing moving at all. But look at that. That was four, four or five swipes, and this thing is already almost done. I don't actually need this thing piped out. What am I doing? I'm going to wait wait for that until we get over there to the end. All right. So this guy should be giving us about 10,000, um, which isn't too bad. This auger wagon can hold a lot, though, which is, like, insane how much this can actually hold. Let me show you really quick. Auger wagons, like, the John Deere one holds 45,000. Holy crap. The Kinsey ones, 53 and 38. That's just, that's just insane. Like, our, uh, our harvesters can't even hold that much. And you'd figure the auger wagons would hold less than the harvesters, but I guess not. Yeah, 12,000. Wait, no. Yeah, ours is only 10,000. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, this guy's this guy's hurting a little bit. So we're actually probably not going to go... Ah, we'll, we'll empty it. We'll just empty it just for demonstration purposes. Show everybody how it works. See, it connects right there. Then it's got... um, it's got, it's got this little spin, like spiral. I don't know. I don't wonder if you guys can see it. I don't know. It just like spins and it slowly moves it all up, kind of like a conveyor belt. Um, but it doesn't actually use a conveyor belt. All right, there we go. I actually really like this ninja. I like the look. I like the green and uh, green and orange on this map is my favorite thing so far because everything is already all the dirt is like it's like red clay type of thing, and it's super green out. It's just, it makes for a very good combination, and everything ends up looking really, really good. Oh, you can kind of see, yeah, you guys can kind of see in there how those work. It's like little spirals on the right side of the screen there. You can kind of see it like spirals, and it just spins and slowly pulls it all up with it. All right, drop this guy off here. All right, guys, so I think we're going to end the video here because I got a bit of work to go and do on my own. I'm going to go... Um, Get some hay. I gotta go toss it and gotta go buy a tether and do all that stuff because I need some hay and silage to start feeding the cows because we need we need that production to kick up. And then also next episode I will get a uh, TMR or power food mixer um, and I will just put it uh, right behind our hayloft. <coughs> oh, whoa there! <laughs> I'll put <laughs> I'll put it behind our uh, our uh, hayloft and we'll use that because it'll be way easier than having to mix power food uh, on our own or have to use a mixing wagon. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. So. If you guys enjoyed this video leave a like a thumbs up uh comment down below if you guys got any suggestions or anything you guys want to see if you aren't yet make sure you hit the subscribe button and i'll see everybody in the next farming simulator video